thing I want to note is that as soon as you go ahead and link up your Mac Studio, I'll go ahead and show you a quick setup. So quickly, this AC adapter is what you're going to go ahead and plug into the back of the Mac Studio. So if we bring our Mac Studio to the back, you'll see this little connector right here. Once this is plugged into the one side, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and plug in your AC adapter to the back portion right here. And that will basically allow you to go ahead and bring power to your specific Mac Studio. Now on top of that, what I would always recommend doing is getting a monitor handy already. You won't be able to use this unless you have a monitor. So even using something like an HDMI connector right here is great. So what I'd recommend doing is grabbing, you know, HDMI cable, plug it into the other side of your monitor and pretty much plug it into the back of your Mac Studio right here. And you can plug in an HDMI, you can plug in a Thunderbolt, just depends what you want. And you'll see my monitor will go and turn on. Now on top of that, you will need a keyboard or a magic mouse in order to actually use this. The Mac Studio doesn't come with them, I don't think built in. But if you have an extra magic mouse, magic keyboard, anything like that, typically what I do is just grab my lightning cable like this and I plug it to the back of my specific Mac Studio, just like so. You can grab the other end of your lightning cable right here and you can go and plug in your magic mouse by plugging into the bottom here and turning it on this way. Or you can also grab your magic keyboard just like so and you can plug it in this way as well. So it does need a plugged in method at first, but after you can go ahead and use a you know wireless method after plugging it in. Now, once you're ready to go, you can go ahead and power up your Mac Studio. Now there's a speaker built into the Mac Studio too. So what you can do is you can go and click in the Mac Studio power button right there. You will hear it plug in just like this and turn on. On the front of the Mac Studio, you do have an LED indicator. So this will go ahead and tell you when the Mac Studio is on or when it's off. And once it goes ahead and powers on, you're pretty much good to go. Now at this point, what you can do is I can go ahead and unplug my USB type port at the back and I'm ready to go. Now the rest of this video is going to give you a quick breakdown of pretty much how to use the Mac Studio pretty much in Mac OS. So if you're not new to Mac OS, then you can pretty much skip the rest of this video. But if you're new to Mac